In this video, we're going to chat all about tips and tricks and really just hacks for making your editing workflow way faster when you're creating Instagram Reels. And if you're looking for an in-depth Instagram Reels tutorial, this is not the video for that. We'll actually put a video down below of a full in-depth Instagram Reels tutorial that I've already created here on my channel, but this video is really going a step further than that and sharing some tips for how to actually get Reels done, how to actually create them, film them, and to save time while you're doing that and not feel like it always takes you forever and you're able to produce a lot of reels and my top hacks for all of that. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. The first hack I have for you is to record inside of the Instagram Reels app as much as possible, especially if you're doing like trends or lip syncing or something along those lines. Honestly, 99% of the time, it's going to be way easier for you to just do or film those right in the app with the audio as you're filming it, instead of trying to do it in your camera and then upload it later and get it to match and all of that. So that's what I do when I'm doing reels, maybe like these right here, where I am just lip syncing or uh, I go doing a trend that has become popular or something along those lines. I'm just doing those right in the app and that really is going to save you so much time when it comes to actually editing because if you've already filmed it in the app and it already matches your audio and your lip syncing and all of that, then you don't really need to do a lot of editing to the actual video besides adding text. So it just makes your life way easier. The one thing that I do recommend that you do if you are filming within the Instagram app is make sure that you navigate to your reel after you are finished filming it before you go to post it. Hit the save button and save it to your camera roll just in case you happen to lose your draft. Like if you have to update your Instagram or remove your Instagram app or update your phone or something like that, sometimes you can lose those drafts. So just make sure you're saving them to your camera roll so you can always grab them again and upload them to your reels just in case you happen to lose your drafts. And that kind of leads me to recording outside of the app and a few tips I have to go along with that. So if you are recording a reel, say you're sharing a day in your life or you're sharing the process of how to do something, it's gonna be a lot harder to record inside of the app. So you're gonna wanna record just in your camera roll or with your camera so that you can pull from those clips later. And what I really recommend doing is number one, record those clips and then either favorite them or add them to a folder on your phone so you can refer to them and go back to them later. It's gonna be ma gonna make it way easier for you to later go back and create the reel if you already have the clips all organized and in one place. And if I am recording outside the app and I'm going to put piece all the clips together later, I actually really prefer to do this within InShot. It's an app that I absolutely love and I think, believe it's about $5 a month or you can pay $35 and have lifetime access. So that's obviously the better deal. So that's what I went ahead and did. And you're able to quickly and easily edit videos on the go. And it's just really the one of the easiest apps I found to do that. So we'll have the link below if you want to check it out. And let me know if you guys ever want like an in-depth editing tutorial and an app like that, but it makes it way easier and you have way more control over the clips. You have way more settings and things that you can adjust to your clips as opposed to editing in reels. And then once you've already filmed and edited the actual video part of your reel, this is where you can actually break down the steps afterward even more and make things way easier on yourself. And a lot of these are just random tips that I've never mentioned in any of my videos before. But the first one is you can actually batch edit the text after you have filmed all your reel. So nothing says that when you film a reel that you also have to stop and add the text to it, add the caption to it, make the cover photo for it. In fact, a lot of those steps afterward, I am actually batching it. So so when I say batching, I mean that I am filming all the reels at once and then maybe on another day later, I spend an hour and I add text to all those reels. And then maybe on another day, I spend an hour and create cover photos for every single one of those reels. Nothing says you have to do every single step of the process in creating the reel all at once. You can always break it down a little bit more and do the same step in your process for every single reel. And I think it's not only going to make it way less overwhelming for you, but it's actually going to save you time instead of jumping from task to task working on one task on a time for maybe 10 different reels that you have created. And I want you to get even more specific and think about what are some gaps in your days when you can be doing these things. For example, maybe you're waiting for 10 minutes in line at the grocery store and instead of mindlessly scrolling on Instagram, 
Instagram, you could be working in your reels drafts and adding text to your reels so you have that done for later. Or maybe you have 10 minutes until another business meeting starts, you could start writing captions for the reels that you have planned to post. Or maybe when you're planning your Instagram feed and you're planning a normal post, upload those cover photos you've made for your reels and go ahead and just incorporate them into your feed to make sure you're actually posting them, you're actually sharing your reels, and you're not having to remember to try to post them later. One other thing real quick that I just want to throw in here that I realized I didn't talk about after the fact um, is make sure just as a general rule of thumb when you are filming your Instagram reels make sure that you're batch filming like if you're gonna get all dressed up you're gonna do your hair do your makeup get a cute outfit on you're gonna have a cute background make sure that you're batch filming reels don't do all of that work just to film one Instagram reel usually when I sit down to film some reels I'm filming at least five at a time and this comes from you know saving ideas again going back to that video we talked about researching trends in Instagram reels researching and saving those video ideas that you have, this makes it really easy to go back and look at those video ideas and then batch a bunch of Instagram reels because you've done all that prep work. So just make sure you're doing that prep work so you know what kind of reels you want to make. And when you do put in all that effort to get yourself ready, to get your location ready and all of that, that you have all of these ideas that you're able to create a ton of reels, it's gonna save you so much time because if you're trying to get yourself ready to create an Instagram reel, every single time you wanna create one, you're gonna have to spend you know, 30, 45 minutes getting yourself ready, getting your location ready, getting everything good to go for one reel. When you could do all of that work and save yourself hours of time by filming several reels at once when you're already dressed and ready to go. I actually love using the, the um, scheduling app called Later. The link will be down in the description if you want 10 free posts on me. I absolutely love this program. I use it for planning my Instagram feed, if I use it for planning my Instagram reels, Instagram posts, all of those things. So if you want to check it out, it'll be down below. It's my favorite one. I've tried all the big ones and this one is by far my favorite. It has the best features ever. Um, but just make sure that you're incorporating your reels while you're planning because it's gonna make your life way easier and it's gonna actually help you to make sure you're posting those reels and incorporating them into your feed and saving yourself time that way. And what I use to actually plan out my feed with Reels, um, because if you've ever tried using an Instagram scheduling program, you can't actually see the cover photo of a Reel after you post it within the scheduling app. So when I go maybe to later and I am looking at planning my Instagram feed, it's not gonna show me past Reels that I've posted and also have shared it to my feed. So that's the only downside, but the upside is that you can upload cover photos for future reels that you want to post. So this is a question I get from you guys a lot. And basically, how are you planning your reels in your feed to make it, uh, make it cohesive with everything else? And number one, I just don't care as much anymore about how my feed looks. I'm not obsessing over it as much and making sure it's absolutely perfect. But two, you're able to plan, maybe you plan like two weeks out of a time of your Instagram feed and you're able to incorporate your Reels cover photos with the normal Instagram posts that you plan to share. And what you can do with that is make sure that it looks the way you want before you post it. So even if though you can't see the Reels you've posted on your feed, after the fact, after you've posted it, when you go to schedule posts in later or another program like later, um, you're able to, you know ahead of time, like that it was going to look good that the way that you scheduled it, and as long as you follow through with that schedule for the next couple of weeks, then you're good to go. So that's my biggest tip there. Just make sure you're incorporating those cover photos as you're planning your feed. It's gonna make your life way easier. And if you're curious how I create my Instagram Reels cover photos, I actually have a free cover photo template. We'll put a link down below so you can check it out. And it's based basically a free Canva template, either in Canva or Photoshop. If you use Photoshop, you can also use it there. And it's basically just like the basic, um, you know, the guidelines for sizing and for where you're, what's actually going to show on your feed. If you push the reel over to your feed, it's going to be the right dimensions for all of that. So if you want that free cover photo, be sure to grab that down below. I hope these super fast tips helped you and just getting you to think more about how you can strategically create your Instagram reels to make them super fast, super easy, and so that they don't take you a ton of time all of the time uh, and you're able still to create reels consistently for your Instagram. Let me know if there are any other Instagram reels related videos that you want to see because to be honest, I can't, I don't have a very long list of any other ideas specific to Instagram reels, but if there's anything that I haven't covered on my YouTube channel yet, please leave a comment down below and let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover when it comes to reels or anything like that that you really want to see from me. I would absolutely love to create 
it for you. So I can't wait to um, share the video next week. If you're not already, if you like this, if you learned some things from it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button because I upload a new video every Tuesday at noon Eastern Standard Time. Wow, I feel like I say that like every single video and it's just kind of funny. I don't know, just thinking about that, it sounds funny because I feel like I say that all the time and then I'm like, wow, that sounds really familiar and it's because I've said it all the time. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys. So I just got done filming that video. I have no idea where my dogs are at because they were not in there that whole time. So let's go see where they're at. Oh, I found one. You're at the very bottom of our stairs. Chai. What's you doing, buddy? What's you doing? You wanna come here? Bubba. Here, buddy. <gasps> he go come. Is he gonna come? Come on, buddy boy. Oh, there's Amber. We found Amber. There's Chai. Hi, buddy boy. I missed you. Mm, oh, my babies. Mm, thank you. Oh, thank you. That's so nice of you. Oh, puppy guns. Oh, did you have a good Oh, were you having a good nap down there? Oh my goodness. He is just full on in my lap. Cutie patootie. Look how silly. You are so silly. Oh my gosh, my strap's flying. I love his nose. Isn't his nose just the cutest darn thing?